know this song that I say, I want to put it seven, put it short for seven to me. You got your bed. Me! I was in 20 position. Blue face, baby. Guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. You know the vibes, you know the. Uh, so, like, guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you all for 100 subscribers. Like, yo, I can't believe this. Like, you guys are the real MVPs. Please don't forget to tell your friends about this channel. So, today, we're basically doing a story time with me. I'm sure you guys are wondering what I'm going to be talking about. But, like, if you are interested in my story time, just stay tuned. The story I'm going to be telling you guys is basically how I put on myself in London. In the hot sauce, <laughs> I left Lagos, Nigeria, and I went to London to disgrace myself. But it's cool. I don't know why I'm not embarrassed to say this story, but like, yo, if can anybody watching this channel, watching this video, sorry, please open your hand and say you've never ever put on yourself, or you've never been in that situation, please let me know. Or forever hold your peace thank you so it happened that i went to london for summer to visit my dad so <laughs> let me tell you now we wish i went to london to come visit my dad so during the summer vacation and everything we had a birthday party to attend <laughs> we had a birthday party to attend outside outside london it was kind of a road trip thing to the place we are going to so we not take like we took like all this bus like we wanted to do road trip thing let's have fun all this thing we should have took bus so and place was like outside london where we are going to so it was like yo far it was a very long journey i can't say nine hours but it was very long though so for the road trip here yeah, my dad packed a lot of stuff for me and my siblings like so we we'll not get hungry on the road because there's no way we we'll just stop to buy some sort of stuff so we took a lot of food and all so we we'll used to have things to eat in the bus trust me and my immediate sister okay like that my the one before me yeah we were eating we were ourselves, so, so, like we we're so excited that ah yeah road trip party party everything so we we're just eating we we're just enjoying ourselves so we got to the birthday party venue we had the birthday party and went back home yeah no i think the same day yeah but very late but when we go back everyone was tired we just went to shower and just went to sleep the thing was that the next day was sunday i can never forget the next day was sunday yeah so we were going to church obviously and that morning yeah, my elder sister already built out on us that she's not going to church, that she's purging and all. So we're like, okay. So it was just me, my my immediate sister and my dad. When we're about to leave for church, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I was I was already like feeling like I wanted to use the toilets, but like I was so scared of my dad that I couldn't, I couldn't tell him that I wanted to use the toilet at that moment. Like, to tell you how scared I was, because I was like, ah, you just shout at me that, oh, you don't know that you use the toilet since you had your bath, something like that, and everything. So I just, I decided not to say anything. When they were like, are you guys ready for church? I was like, hmm, yes. I didn't even tell my sister, I didn't tell anybody that I was actually like pressed and oh, I wanted to use the toilet though. I did not tell anybody and to church we take bus or train we shall enter the bus or when we, we, we enter the bus here yeah, to church and everything so and then the bus so me thinking that ah it's going to like not be that far like we just get to church i'll just use the toilet in church or something like that <clears throat> like it's it was getting ah, 30 minutes one hour we're still, we're still in the same, we can't, I can't say it's the same spot, but like there was traffic that day. Because there was like a marathon thing going on. So like people were on the road and stuff. So like everywhere was jam-packed and there was such traffic. 
I was already thinking that God, what am I going to do? Because at that point, I didn't even know, I didn't even know we were going to get to church or anything. And at that point, I was already like feeling it that you, <laughs> like, <laughs> hey, this this thing is funny now, but like then it wasn't. So I was in the bus. I was still holding. I was still looking. But like I was so uncomfortable and restless. Like I would, you know, this song that I say, I want to put it seven, put it short for seven to me. It got a me. I was it so for like <laughs> one hour plus, cause I was just changing my pose. Cause you know when you are so pregnant, you don't even know what to do. And I was sweating. I don't even know how my dad did not even notice. But like my sister later noticed that she was like, ah, that put you. Why you restless and all? I was like, and I had to tell her that ah. I want to use the toilet. Why like, ah, ah. need to talk when we were going? I felt like I was scared. She was like, ah, what are we going to do? She, she, she agreed that she's going to tell my daddy for me. Maybe we'll drop or something like that. Like, we'll just stop at a bus stop or the next stop. <laughs> and she was about to tell my dad. <laughs> I'm, not even, I'm not even joking here. <laughs> like, my daddy just saw a woman and they just started talking. So it was like very difficult for my sister to just call them short and be like, ah, that so it was like, wow, I'm dead. Like, <laughs> why is this man coming now? Like, I was so pissed that why <laughs> okay? I shall not say anything. The man, the man shall came, she shall greeted us. We shall talk to my daddy. Two minutes. This man did not leave. Go to your own seat. Go to somewhere. I will just disappear. I will just put my brain. Go get was talking to my daddy for like 20 minutes. And at that point, like that bus um journey to church was just the longest. Like, okay. Well, my sister shall develop <laughs> the evidence to tell my daddy about it all and everything. I did not mention that after she, she got pressed. So I should not do my daddy. My daddy, <laughs> the first thing my daddy did, he just there smiling. I was like, what is funny? Like, I was, <laughs> I was just like, why is this man laughing? It's not funny. Like, I was that pissed and I was like, yo, I just want to use the toilet. He was just laughing and I was confused. Like, <laughs> the first thing is like, are you joking? Who would be joking with that kind of thing? I'm like, said you are serious. Want to use the toilet and everything, everything, everything. No. They were not like, ah, we just passed a stop now. My brain was like, what? They're like, the next stop is about 20 minutes. A lot of traffic before we get there and everything. At that point, I was just like, hmm, it has finished. It is done. <laughs> like, I was just like, okay. Like, I'm sure so I still deal. I was still talking i was still talking to my sister we're still waiting for the next bus stop fortunately for us the 15 minutes i came so i go to the bus stop like but at that point i knew that god so it's only god that was going to like help me to that toilet so we shall go to the bus stop we shall looking around for like somewhere like a mall or something that has toilet or something like that we shall saw this tesco supermarket no tesco store because I, I can't see the supermarket i don't even know but like i can't remember that it was Tesco. that the this the english scattered in my brain i was just like please the restroom please restroom please restroom please <laughs> that's what i was just saying because i didn't even know i know what to say but they just saying pardon but restroom or something like that. i pointed you to the place so you won't believe that you still have to take stairs or escalator to get to that place hey i was just like jesus then i was just like okay 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 let's do this <laughs> you won't believe what happened as i kept one leg <laughs> on the escalator i just felt like you know that's ease i just pulled on myself and i was like it has happened and you know something about when you are like keeping your poop and all this kind of thing. When you start, there's no way you can say you want to order the rest and everything. It has finished. Just, just put food there because there's nothing you can do. I was just trying to like manage myself so that the poop will not actually drop on the escalator or something like that. And I was just like, 
<laughs> sha 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 i entered the toilet but like there was nothing else i could do i just stood i was just looking at the toilet and the toilet was looking at me my sister not came out when she was done no. she's like uh-uh the mula you are done i was just looking at her i'm like like i was just like i pulled on myself and she was just like are you serious why did you I was just looking at that. Why are you asking me why? <laughs> or something like that. I was just looking at my mind. Like, I was like, I didn't mean to. So, I had to. I don't even know. I do. I shall put everything I was being. She's not going to stay in the toilet. But, so, that's this kind of. I don't know how to explain it, but like, you have your own. It's, it's not open without doors. So I just stood there naked and I cleaned up. And I was like looking and waiting. Then the first thing she went to do, she went to tell my dad that I needed new pants that I did put on my body and everything. So my daddy went downstairs to the store to get a new pants for me. So I saw what down on. I was not meaning how I was going to clean my clothes. Like I was just looking. I was so sad. Like I felt so ah what is my daddy going to do? Like that was what I was most scared of. I was never scared of myself again. I was just like, oh my daddy say because I was so scared of my daddy. Like I was just scared that ah oh my daddy say, oh my daddy say. My sister Sha helped me to wash the old thing. Forget that day. Oh my god. I actually fell in love with my sister because we used to fight the Lord, but like that day she really helped me. Like she helped me. She washed the stuff and like she had to use that hand dryer stuff to like dry the clothes for a bit. Like so when the thing was already okay and manageable for me to wear, I just wore it. Just came down. I just saw my dad. He was just laughing. Ah! I was, I was just, I was just pained that. Why is my laughing? I was like calling people, people gay. Everything gay. Ah! I did. I say me. You call me dark chocolates. AKA young sexy motherfucker. You came from Nigeria. I keep stupid my skin. I say it's not your fault. So. And we never go to church again. No, we just took train back home and then we just got to home. I just go to my this. My dad did not even off his shoe. He called my dad, my mom. My mom was laughing at them. They were not laughing at me. I was just like, I was just so ashamed of myself. Cause I was like, I try. I felt like I tried. Like I actually tried to an extent that I, I kept this shit now, but it still happened. So that was how I actually pulled on myself. I don't know why I'm saying this now. I don't know why I'm not embarrassed like I said earlier, but like, yo, yo, yo. <laughs> I can't do that anymore because like, I'm a sauce. Like, it's not even possible. I'm not mad. My mom would just slap me that at your age. It's not even possible. So let's just forget about that. But like, one thing I learned about this old poo thing and all, all the story time. Just learn to do this stuff here. Yeah. If you have a problem, let me just put it that way. If you have a problem yeah, and you think you you feel like you need solution to that problem, it's better you actually say it than not to say it at all. Because if you say it, it's either you find the solution or you don't. But if you don't say it, you won't even find the solution at all. But like it's just I don't know if you guys get me. I don't know if you, I'm making sense, but like I'm just trying to like say like for example now let's say I told my daddy before leaving house the house I'm like daddy I want to use dolly. Let's say he rejected like oh no, just get us in the car, let's go and stuff like that. It will be on him. Or he had said that oh you can go and use the dolly. all those will not happen. But like I didn't say anything so I know anything. So I just want you guys to like learn how to like your mind because i just tell people like it won't kill you like they're not going to actually kill you it's not like you should tell you people, people about if you want something from her, just ask don't say okay she won't give me what if she does so just ask because if you ask she's not going to like is that she gives you or she does not do you get i don't know i don't i don't actually know if i'm making sense but like i hope you guys understand what i'm saying so that will bring me to the end of this story time if you have any experience about this or this has ever happened to you i want you to comment it down below let me see my fellow people mates but like yo they're not to be embarrassed or they're not to be ashamed that's cool that's cool that's trip. so it's so a time your life and if you poo poo you're being human so like 
what is the big deal so i just want you to like tell me your experience share your experience with me even though it's pee even though it's poopy just share your experience with me in the comment section don't forget to give this video a thumbs thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and if you are just watching my channel or you just stumbled on this video go back or check the description box and try to subscribe please subscribe to my channel and with that being said i'll see you guys in my next video wait 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 <laughs> i'm just too fine like no i'm fine period <laughs> that's basically all for today and yeah i want you guys to check out a channel i'm going to put it on the screen so so you guys should please check it out it sings and like i like this song so like you guys should just go and check it out and be post and subscribe to his channel and with that being said i'll see you guys in my next video even though i don't want to leave like <laughs> i'll see you guys Bust down, Tatiana. Bust down, Tatiana.